video is about experimental probability. And this is looking at trying something and see, seeing what the results are. An experiment is an activity involving chance that can have various results. Flipping a baseball card is an example of an experiment. So if you're just flipping this over, you're not looking at it, you're flipping it. Um, the result of a probability experiment is called an outcome. What are the possible outcomes of flipping a baseball card? Well, you can flip it up or you can flip it down. So you're going to want to pause and write this down. Experimental probability, this part right here. But performing an experiment is another way to estimate the probability of an event. If an experiment is repeated many times, the experimental probability of an event is the ratio of the number of times the event occurs to the total number of time, times the experiment is performed. So probability is the number of times the event occurs to the total number of trials. Okay, for one month, Tasha recorded the time at which her bus, her school bus arrived. She organized her results in a frequency table. And so the time between 7 and 7.04, it arrived eight times. Between 7.05 and 7.09, it arrived nine times. And between 7.10 and 7.14, it arrived 30 times. So the later it gets, the fewer times. And find the experimental probability that the bus will arrive between 7 and 7.04. So it arrived set between 7 and 7.04 eight times. Now that's out of the total. How many total? So 8 plus 9 is 17 plus 3 is 20. So the experimental probability that it's going to arrive between these times is 8 out of 20 times. Find the experimental probability that the best will arrive before 7.10. Well, this and this are before 7.10. So you add those up, 8 and 9, and that's 17 out of the still 20 trials that he did, that she did. So it's the same probability, and so you're just using the chart to help you answer these questions. Jennifer has a bag of marbles. She removed one marble, recorded the color, and placed it back in the bag. She repeated this process several times and recorded her results in the table. So she had five white, three red, five yellow, and 12 black. Find the experimental probability that a marble selected from the bag would be red. Well, let's see, this is five, and this is three, and this is five, and this is 12. So red is three, three out of the total. And if I add these up, I get 10, 25. So the um, probability is 3 out of 25. Find the experimental probability that the marble selected from the bag will not be black. So if black is 12 out of 25, not black is 25 over 25, and that's 13 out of 25. So this is 1, so something's going to happen as a whole, and 12 times it happened, so 13 times it happened that it's not. And it says, based on Jennifer's experiment, which color marble is she most likely to select from the bag? Well, what do you think? So think about that. Which marble is she most likely to select if what happened before continues to happen? So here is a slide, um, and go ahead and write your answers down to this. So Janet recorded the high temperature every day in January. She recorded her results in the frequency table. So here's the high temperatures, and here's how many days in the month. 
According to Janet's result, what is the probability that a day in January will be warmer than 45? So warmer than 45 would include this. So how many is that? That's 12 out of the total number, and so we have to add these up, so that's 20, 30, 31. 12 out of 31. And according to Janet's results, which temperature range is least likely to occur? So that's going to be the one with the smallest, and which amount is that? So Mar Marina recorded the results of spinning a spinner with three sections. The three sections are red, blue, and green. And she got these amounts here. Um, so you're going to use the results in the table to find the experimental probability of the spinner landing on blue. And it's as a percent. So we've been looking at these as fractions, but this is as a percent. And the second question, if the color sections on the spinner are different sizes, what do you think might be the largest section? So if it weren't a fair spinner where they were all equal sizes, which, which section do you think would be bigger based on... So Carrie has a bag of marbles. He removed one marble, recorded the color, and placed it back in the bag. He repeated this process 15 times and recorded his results in the frequency table. So red was 3, blue was 1, black was 5, and green was 6. And you're going to find these answers and vote on them. So find the experimental probability that the marble selected from the bag will be blue. Find the experimental probability that the marble selected from the bag will be black. And then based on Carrie's experiment, which color marble is he most likely to select from the bag? Red, blue, black, or green? And based on Carrie's experiment, which color marble is he least likely to select from the bag? Now you're going to pause here and you're going to do these three problems, write your answers down so that you're ready to vote. The first question is in 10 free throws, Pamela made three shots. What is the experimental probability that Pamela will, will make her next free throw? And then the second question is Juan tossed a fair coin and it landed heads up. What is the experimental probability that it will land heads up on the next toss? From a bag, you select a red tile 16 times, a green tile 17 times, a blue tile 24 times, and a yellow tile 21 times, and a black tile 22 times. What is the experimental probability that you will select a green tile the next time?